several armed robberies in just the last few days in Culver City. And tonight, people there say it's part of a growing crime problem. KCAL 9's Jake Reiner live in Culver City tonight with details on the most recent cases, Jake. Leslie, we're right outside the Rite Aid where just yesterday it was robbed. And when we were en route to this location today, we heard of yet another armed robbery that happened today, not too far from here, making it the third in the last three days. Culver City used to be such a great, you know, safe place to live. It's gotten really scary. Beverly Peterson has been a Culver City resident since 1964. She's seen the city change over the course of nearly 60 years. Is the time period we're living in right now kind of like maybe the worst or kind of near the worst in terms of crime? To me, I think it's the worst. Yeah, I think it, it's the worst that I I remember it ever being. And the Culver City Police Department agrees that it has gotten bad around here. They've seen an uptick in violent crimes involving a firearm, a 90% increase in 2021 and 2022 from the years 2018 and 2019. They didn't include 2020 because of the unusual pandemic interruption. You're afraid to go out sometimes to different places because you don't know what's going on. Three armed robberies in as many days, beginning with the subway on Sepulveda and Venice Friday morning. Police say a man in a black ski mask pulled out a black handgun and demanded money. The subway employee complied and the suspect made off with two to three hundred dollars. On Saturday, similar ordeal, except it was the Rite Aid at the Culver Center. Police say a man with a black handgun demanded cash. The employee complied and he ran off. Neither suspect in those incidents have been caught yet. But Sunday afternoon at the Boost Mobile on Sentinella in Washington, Police say a suspect ordered all employees to the ground before stealing from the cash register and bolting. Police were actually able to find him along with the hundreds of dollars he stole and promptly arrested him. Despite that one success, Beverly Peterson wants to feel safe again in her city. I wish they could do something about it. So Culver City PD tells me they are upping patrols and increasing their police presence, but they say they really do need the public's help in catching these guys. These three robbery suspects, one of them they did arrest today, but the other two, uh, all three of them, they don't believe they are connected in any way at this time. So uh, if you see anything or know anything about these robberies, call Culver City PD. Reporting live in Culver City, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.